Bad Trap was a very small part of the Rise of the Beast movie. He showed up, shot his gun, shot it again, and died. A very memorable death. But he still stood out as a very cool character and design. So I was very excited to get the Studio Series figure, and my expectations were high thanks to Prime and Scrooge. And Battle Trap definitely fits in with them, because all three of them are amazing. Battle Trap looks near one to one to the film. He's just a bit skinnier. But some of the spikes and kibble make up for that. Personally, I really like the arm kibble, as it gives him this very large and spiky silhouette. Even though he is an objectively skinny figure, he still looks big and imposing. The sculpting all over over the figure is great. He feels different to any other figure I've handled. The plastic feels different, but just as good as other figures. And he's also like pointy all over compared to the smoothed off sculpting of many other figures. The chest design is great, even though it is a faux part. When I first saw the figure, I actually thought this was the car bumper. Used alongside the actual front of the car mode, it forms a spectacular look. Speaking of the car bumper, most of the car mode is just chilling out in his back, but I like how it looks as it cleans up really neatly in just two pieces. The head sculpt is super detailed and screen accurate. The arms are probably my least favorite part, and I'm not even talking about the kibble, it's the actual arm piece itself. They're just little sticks and are pretty boring compared to the look of the legs or body. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I think the kibble saves the arms from looking out of place. He can pose well enough, anything you'd realistically want him to do, he can, and he looks good while doing it. The hand mace looks great. I really like how it clamps around the entire hand as well. I'm excited to see what type of poses he can get into once I get my hands on Primal's chain. The transformation is a highlight on this figure. At first it was confusing, but after doing it like twice, it's so much fun. The legs do a really interesting stretch out then like shrink down and the body's super engaging too and it ends in a very nice alt mode. But somehow, once again, for the third time, it falls apart somehow once you reach the back. How out of the three Rise of the Beast figures I've looked at, all of them have fumbled the back of the alt mode. It's definitely the best looking from the back though but that's not a very high bar. Other than that, this is a really nice compact little box and it's really enjoyable to look at. The only part that I really don't like is the visible feet. They just don't look too good. Overall, this guy is a very fun figure with a great bot mode, great engineering, and a pretty good alt mode. He's definitely kept up the trend of good Rise of the Beast figures, and for that he's getting an 8.5 out of 10, because I feel Scourge's leader price allowed him to beat out Battle Trap in the ratings.